When I first heard about the Freedom Convoy, I knew it was gonna be a game changer for Canadians. I just didn't know that I would have anything to do with it. But within hours, I too was heading to Ottawa and into a more chaotic role than I would have believed possible. There are books about the convoy. Andrew Lawton's got a book, Tamara's got a book, but mine has a different perspective than, than the rest of them. I think there's a lot of questions around what was happening behind the scenes. I want the readers to get a sense of, okay, you got dropped into this really difficult situation and, and how, do you, how did you kind of dissect it and come up with things that needed to be done? It's not a historical account. I was trying to make this book about leadership, the good and the bad, the difficulties, the challenges. Um, you know, what it is like for somebody to get dropped into a tornado right in the middle of it and try to make some sense of it. If I were to go into a bookstore, I would want them to sell it in the leadership section. When I started the project, the goal was really to focus on leadership challenges. I wanted to make sure that failure was, was a part of the book because with leadership, you, you become a better leader through failure and, and reflecting on those failures. But I didn't want to criticize anybody. And originally when I started the project, I just wanted to focus only on the convoy. But when I went to the Public Order Emergency Commission and I heard all the testimony, because I sat in that audience for seven weeks and I listened to what the government and the police thought and I compared that to what we were doing, I had to write about those things. I had to do like a, a, a comparison of, of what they did versus what we did and what we were thinking versus what they were thinking and highlight what the end result was and why. And I'm hoping that in the future when other people are out there, they'll look at this book and say, you know what, there was some value in, in what Tom's experience was during his time at the convoy. And I learned something. This book is an insider story. It's about my personal experience, and right or wrong, why I was able to influence many decisions throughout. What I've written is the truth, and I'm good with it. <laughs>